Hey, what's going on, everyone? Once again, this is Hashim Whitmore will be the world's greatest barber. Hey, this is a, it's an amazing time to just not only just to be alive, but I'm able to say thank you because today I reached 501 subscribers. 500 subscribers, you know, so I just wanted to say a special thanks to all the viewers, everybody that has been uh, faithful, has been signing in, has been subscribing, has been sending me questions, comments, and emails. I love y'all, and this is what I love to do, so I'm glad that you guys are able to share this whole experience with me, and you guys are vibing with my life, so that really means a lot. So, in honor of y'all, and in honor of a gentleman that was very important to me, and especially me, not only developing as a barber, but just as a man, my barber instructor, uh, rest in peace, Mr. Fletcher. Uh, this this uh, this video, this is for not only you, but in honor of Mr. Fletcher here. So, uh, in life, you can be a builder or a destroyer. All right? Either a builder or a destroyer. Either you're going to build things up or you're going to tear things down. And... You have a very gifted opportunity every day that you step out there to lift somebody up and be a light. All right. I didn't always understand. Uh, I didn't already always understand this principle, right? Because the way I dealt with a lot of issues growing up, you know, especially after my parents' divorce, I became very one. I was very angry. You know, I was very just, I was angry, I was hurt, and there was a lot of things going on uh, in my family, in my family life, you know, especially between me and my father. And so, like a lot of young men that raised by their mother, we didn't really have an example of men to kind of show us the way, show us the, you know, the correct way we're dealing with things, because my example, he was, you know, he was off running around doing his doing his own thing. I sure he has the best intention. As I got older, I understood it. But as a young man, I really didn't know how to handle it. I internalized a lot of things, and my weapon of choice became like sarcasm, and I became uh, really quick, quick witted. So when there was everybody was snapping on each other, or something came, somebody came to me you know, with a joke or was trying to get on me, maybe the way I was dressed and my weight, whatever, I would just rip into him, you know. I just rip into him. And so I I believe that everybody when they're born they have a gift. My gift was to seeing really good things and people kind of lifting people up, people opened up to me, you know, and I could read people very well from like a young age and so I noticed when I turned on uh, into like an anger side I always try to I always try to finish the fight you know I always try to uh, kill the person off verbally yeah you know, so they would never ever want to talk uh, talk no shit again you know and that was just that was, that was it somebody comes with a jab I come with a machete, you know, and just try to cut the head off. And sarcasm was one of the tools and uh, of anger and using my intelligence was also another tool when it came to, um, you know, defending myself or defend, you know, when it came to like verbal jousting, you know. When I went out to DC, Mr. Fletcher, you know, I said, rest in peace. Um, he saw something special in me, right? Because where, you know, some of the other students, you know, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't share the same background. I wasn't from that area. I was from California. I was out there. And um, although a lot of them showed me love, there were some that I just didn't vibe with. And he noticed that when they shot off one little joke, I shot off like a bazooka, you know, and I was, and the things that I would say were uh, almost 
almost excessive to to become 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 hurtful because I knew that man for one I don't have the time to uh, fuck around and to go back and forth. I'm gonna say some shit. It's gonna hurt your feelings, and you're never gonna want to say no shit to me ever again, right? And uh, one day he pulled me to the side and said, uh, and he was kind of telling me, he was like, Mr. Whitmore, you know, you're a very strong individual, you know, but you don't always, you don't want to kill the spirit when you're talking to somebody or you get into it with somebody. You know, you kill the spirit, you chop them down, you hurt somebody on, on a core level, you know, and you break and, and you break them and you break them down, and that could be very detrimental and it could also create a whole lot of enemies, right? And I didn't really understand this at first. And this individual, this man, took me to the side sometimes and would show me like and we would just watch some of the people that, you know, I didn't get along with, right? He would break down their mannerisms, their behavior, things like that. He and like some of their childlike or some of their even their feminine qualities, and said, you know, he would just point out that he said, you know, when you have a lot of strength and you have a lot of power within you, you don't always have to fire back. You all you don't always have to uh, cut people down. You know, and you know you could do better building people up. You know, and that and that was challenging for me to understand at young 20, 24 year, you know, 22 year old Sheen, you know. But as I've experienced life, and as you guys watching this video, you guys will experience it too, that when you build people up, when you lift them up with blessings and encouragement, things like that, you know, it goes so much further. You know, when you're in in a scenario, and especially barbers, barbers are in almost like a boys club every day, and we get on each other, we talk about each other, and things like that. I want y'all to think about some of the things that you say can, you know, a lot of people try to put out that words really don't hurt people, but words can hurt people. Words can hurt people that you're closest to, in relationships, and all that kind of stuff. And especially being in a close environment where we're privileged to a lot of information and seeing a lot of way people, a lot of ways people interact, deal with problems, deal with situations, that we gotta be very careful to of what we say and how how it comes across, you know. And I would definitely suggest don't don't do some of the, make some of the mistakes that I made, you know. I would you know I would sheen people. You know, somebody would say, "Oh man, uh, look how look how he's uh, he's dressed, or look how um, yeah how he's moving." And I would say something real slick, like, "Yeah, you know, men most most real men don't don't uh, analyze and spend that much time looking looking at another man like that." <laughs> and then and then I roll out, and then people would be like, "Oh shit, he he just shamed the shit out you," you know, and you know, I had to pause and really cor correct that because I know who I am. I know that I'm strong. And I know that I have these type of abilities, but I don't know how that person, I can already tell that he's searching for something. He's looking for something. There's something empty in, in, in him that me shit, uh, shitting on him or busting him down or, you know, or leaving him with something negative to think on, especially after I leave leave the room, not only breaks him down, destroys uh, whatever positive thoughts that he might have about me, even if it's on the tiniest level, it's still a level and it still could plant a seed and he could still make somebody feel hurt, you know, make somebody feel a little bit less superior, you know, somebody feel a little bit more envious all those things come into play and you know you really have to correct the behavior i've had to apologize recently when somebody got on got on me or said something slick where i took it as a joke and i fired off a statement similar to the one that i just gave you an example of 
I had to say, man, I'm sorry, man. I consider you a brother. You know, I love you and respect you. And, you know, I think the most highest of you, you know, because I'm in the business and we all should be in the business of building one another up, you know. And there's enough outside influences out there um, that are outside of your control that people are dealing with and you are dealing with that you know, you don't have to fire back. You know, there's a statement that says, anger does more damage to the person that's feeling it than the person um, that it's directed to, all right? So, you know, always be mindful of, of that. Be mindful of karma. Karma is the one law that nobody can, can escape. And the seeds of karma that you plant out there, if it's building people up, then people will build you back up and bless you, respect you, and, and care for you, and, and good things will happen to you. But if it's a seed of destruction, you will be that individual. When you walk into that shop or you walk into that office, people get quiet. People are saying, oh, shit, this motherfucker's here again. You know, this person has arrived. And I know... I know everybody is dealing with their own issues. There's depression. There's um, things that we try to medicate that depression with. It could be alcohol. It could be drugs, women, weed, uh, food. It could be um, anything. But I suggest that when your goal into 2017 and beyond and to keep on lifting yourself up and understand that you have strength and you got power and there's so much power in your words and in your tongue and people will remember the things you say and the way you made them feel forever you know i remember the encouraging words that my barber gave me when i was 11 you know i remember the hurtful things that my dad said to me when i was 10 years old i I am a testimony, if you think about it, your life and where you are at and the, and the words that affected you and directed you on your path. You want to be remembered when this is all said and done as somebody that took their gifts, took their words, and lifted people up, built people up, and built greatness in the people. And Because sometimes people are just mounds of clay, you know, if you stomp on them, you know, you're just destroying the potential of somebody that could be very, you know, very beautiful, very beautiful soul, you know. But if you build them up, whether especially if they're in a relationship with you, you know, romantically, if there's a relationship with you in a business relationship, there might be just a stranger on the street, you know. Your, your activities, your thoughts, your wisdom, the, the, the feelings that you pass on to people, that is your brand. So I want everyone to have the greatest brand out there to understand that, you know, it does take time. You will grow through certain stages. And sometimes you will feel like it's too much. Sometimes you're, you'll feel like it's testing you too much to be on a certain level, but you will find that leveling point where you're able to give and that's the most important thing. And you're able to give and you're able to build. And this is Hashim Whitmore. So happy to reach 500 plus followers. Thank you all for tuning in. There's going to be so much more coming in here in uh, 2017. I love y'all. Keep being the greatest. Peace.